Morning BC, Rock Chica here. Uh, here to do a quick video of some record show pickups and a couple other miscellaneous items. So we'll just go ahead and get started. Uh, first off is uh, the Almond Brothers Band at Fillmore East. I've been wanting this record uh, since they put it out on Record Store Day in the reissue, but never really jumped on it because of the price. Um, I was able to come up with this one for a really good price in a bundle so I picked up this and this is on the 200 gram classic records quiet SV P super vinyl profile whatever that means but it sounds great uh, this was pretty much mint I don't think they had ever played it uh, purchased it from the original owner I guess you'd say he was kinda clearing out his collection had a small booth had a small table there at the show so I was able to pick up this from him great album uh, my husband's like really you wanted that? And it's like yeah why not I like the Almond Brothers uh, also picked this up from that same seller uh, Johnny Ace and again this was sealed this is a um, I guess it's a 70's maybe even an 80's re reissue sounds great and it's on the orange Duke label so if you like Johnny Ace and this kind of sound you're gonna love this guy James Hunter 6. Now, I didn't pick this up at the record show. I picked this up at the concert. Uh, got to see him about a week or so ago uh, at a small theater here in town. Awesome show. We got second row seats, general admission. It was really great. Now, this has a Northern Soul sound, um, 50s rock type sound. Excellent, excellent. And uh, he was selling these at the merch table afterwards, so I was able to get him to sign it. So I picked up both of his releases, and these are on Daptone Records. Really loving the Daptone stuff. Uh, I pick up all the Sharon Jones, and I have another band I'm going to show you. So here's the other James Hunter 6. So there's uh, slow ones on here. There's some good uh, dance tunes on here. Highly recommend it if you like the 50s, 60s uh, type blue-eyed soul, northern soul type stuff. So get that. And I uh, was able to get him to sign that one as well. Uh, my husband found this at the record show. Taco City Rockers. Uh, 23 bands from the taco capital of the world, San Antonio, Texas. 1980 to 1995. And this is... I guess a second pressing. Uh, the original cover has a collage of uh, menus, to-go menus from all sorts of Mexican restaurants here in town. <clears throat> but this has some really great um, post-punk, punk type bands. And uh, I mean you'd have to get it just for the songs and the names of the bands that are on here. So they have the um, the men menudo side, uh, shit magnets, the um, what is it? Raging Woodies. What else do we have? FDR. I mean, just all sorts of great ones. I remember some of these from back in the day. Um, so really great album and it's on a green marble vinyl so there you go highly recommended if you like punk um, flipside CT you'd probably dig that also got this at the uh, record show this is from a different vendor El Chicano this is more of the uh, early Santana um, what's the other band if the if Los Lobos were around back in the early 70s they would sound like this uh, there's Malo is another band 
with that Chicano type sound. Great, great record if you like that. Um, I guess you kind of put it under, um, it's 70s, it's a big band. Um, you can hear a lot of this at low rider shows, stuff like that. Great album. Another pickup. Uh, this is from a record store up in New Braunfels called uh, Stingray Records. Uh, we always pop in there and see what he's got. And uh, this is something I didn't have with my Billy Idol collection. A 12-inch single below the belt mix of Flesh for Fantasy. Nice and clean, still in the shrink. Classic Billy Idol. And it has a nice... Um, Custom labels with the picture of Billy on that. This is from the from the same buyer, part of the bundle that I purchased the uh, Almond Brothers from. This is the Beatles' A Hard Day Night, Japanese pressing. Did not have the OB, but it does have the insert, and it's on the Apple label. <clears throat> I haven't listened to this yet. I have the American release, uh, Hard Day's Night, with the red cover, but I needed this one because apparently the sound listing, the song listing is different on that, so needed to add that to my collection. And also picked this up from the same vendor, Beatles Love Songs, and this has a nice uh, textured cover. Not sure what year this release is, but it has the nice custom labels on it. Haven't listened to this one either, but um, needed this for the collection. Didn't have this one. Even though it's a comp, I've always liked the packaging on this. And of course, you got to get all the love songs in one, one shot. Next is, so with those purchases, he threw in this. Um, Smashing Pumpkins, The End is the Beginning is the End, and this is um, two 12-inch remixes of that particular song, and like it's written there on the, on the label, Trance. <clears throat> the seller, the guy who I bought the, uh, the Beatles and the Almond Brothers, did not look like the type of guy that would have this. So I'm not sure how this ended up in his collection. So this is definitely trance, underground, not at all classic rock, which is what most of his collection was, which is odd, but I really like it. That That's really good too. And let's see what else here. Pick this up from a different vendor, Dollar, and I already have this one, so it's the In Harmony one that I need. But this one's nice and clean, so I'll probably get rid of the other copy. Um, this has the Bruce Springsteen Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Some really great songs on here. So it's not necessarily a kid's record, even though all the songs are fun, but some great players on there, Billy Joel, James Taylor, Crystal Gale, so pick it up. This is another Daptone release, the Budos Band, and I picked this up on the recommendation of the Spinning Greek. Excellent record. Uh, this is a lot of fun. It's uh, funky. Pretty much uh, funk instrumentals get you dancing. Doesn't look like it by the cover, but that's what it is. Uh, really great, like I said, Daptone Records putting out some really good, good music. And uh, according to the Spinning Greek, I'm, I'm guessing the Budos Band is the uh, house band for the Daptone label. So really get this. Highly recommend it. Can't go wrong. It's not metal. <laughs> so, uh, my husband picked these up at the uh, record show. He's always on the lookout for some steel guitar. So, um, 
a different vendor had a whole vein of uh, some steel guitar stuff going on. Paul Franklin just picking. This is really good. Oops. Got me stuck here. What's going on? Okay. Uh, Buddy Emmons. Steel guitar. One for the road, Buddy Emmons. International Steel Guitar Convention. I haven't listened to this one yet. I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. And apparently this is rare steel guitar. Buddy Emmons. So you pick those up. And listen to a few of them. They're all really good. If you like uh, bluegrass, country western, pick up some steel guitar. And then the piece of resistance is, um, you know, you start watching Bobby Z videos and then you decide, well, you know, maybe I can pick up one. Direct Audio was at the uh, record show and they had all sorts of uh, MoFi and new releases. They're based out of Dallas, so they came down to the record show. So I went ahead, well, I'll say my husband went ahead and uh, picked up this for me. And this is number, what is it? Uh, 6557. If you can see that there. Th this is one of my absolute favorite records, the cars. So, I have a few different versions of this. I'm going to check this out. I'm going to go ahead and open it. So, I'll check that out. See how it sounds compared to the original. And uh, the blue, blue release. And he also picked this up for me. The Cars second album. Another classic. If you don't have the Cars, you need to get them in your, in your collection. There's the number on that one, 3443, or 3413. I don't have my good glasses on, guys. And it's early. I know uh, Richard Riley might dig this cover. He likes the cheesecake covers, so. And this is by Vargas. And uh, the reason why my husband moseyed on over there is because I told them they had this on MoFi and he was able to get a discount off of this <clears throat> because we belong to a a club here in town when they were offering us a 20% off so really got a pretty good deal on all these Judas Priest stained glass and it is uh, 12, 3, 12, 8, 3. I can't see right now. He hasn't listened to this one either, but this is a great album if you like JP, if you like heavy metal, rock and roll. So, dip your toe into some Priest if you don't already have some. Uh, then there was a vendor there that was selling his product the MVP and I went ahead and picked a couple of these up some I'm gonna send out for presents so I'll show you how this works and I know that every single one of us who's been playing records forever has thought of this so you have here's the box comes with a nice little cleaning brush little bit of cleaning fluid I'm guessing his own his own mix and uh, this is what it is it looks like castanets so it has a couple of places for you to put your fingers and this is what you use to take the record out of the sleeve and once you take it out of the sleeve and you put it on the turntable that way you don't get your grubby little fingerprints on it you can go ahead and open this up place it on the record dust the record because it's nice and soft on the inside and if you need to you can put a little bit of cleaning fluid on your record 
and use that to clean your record. And once this gets you know, a little bit of lint on it and stuff, you can use the brush to clean off your your little holder here. And he went ahead and put some Velcro so you can stick this part to your table or nearby and then you always have it close at hand. You just pop it on there with the Velcro and it's always nearby. So this is also good for CDs and DVDs. Haven't quite used mine yet. Um, we'll try it. I think this would be really good for those of you who haven't mastered pulling the record out of the sleeve by holding the label here and the edge of the record here and not getting your fingerprints on it. So those of you with maybe smaller hands that really have to... Or if the record's really tight inside the sleeve, this will help get it out. So I'll do a, a demonstration video on this soon. And I'll probably send some out to a couple other BC members so they can promote it. And it was 10 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And uh, out of Austin, Texas. Got to support the locals. And I will show one more thing. I posted this on Facebook, on the uh, VC Facebook. Picked this up in Colorado at one of Zeke's favorite uh, record stores, Twist and Shout, over on Colfax. Had to get this. And this is uh, everything I needed to know I learned from Led Zeppelin. I thought this was way too cool. Picked this up for my husband. That was his little, little surprise gift. Let me put my coffee down. find a good spot for this one. So, for those of you who uh, are Led Zeppelin fans, um, Boston Rob, Vance, um, everybody else in the VC who loves Led Zeppelin, totally cool. Look at that. You gotta fill out your name there on your textbook. And it has some really good uh, graphics, Some pictures. Just flip through here. September. So, a really cool book. Uh, highly recommend to pick it up, put it on your Christmas list. And it is by this company here, The Enthusiast. You can find them online. There is the ISBN number. Let's see if we can get that to focus. So Google it. Get it for your uh, favorite Led Zeppelin fan. And uh, that's all I got. Thanks, VC. I'll try to post a couple more. I'm going to do some uh, Halloween needle drops and some uh, political needle drops if I can find my spoken word records. So peace out.